I just saw, uh, I, I loved our, our, our defensive effort, you know, for 40 minutes. So it was, it was, you know, probably our best. I know it's been our best in, in Pac-12 play and possibly the best all year. In terms of our energy, uh, deflections was one of our highest uh, deflection totals. Uh, we're very good in ball screen coverage today. Uh, you know, we turned, we were able to create, you know, 17 turnovers. And that's kind of the activity that we had shown through most of the non-conference and it carried over to getting us more in the open court. And it definitely bought us some time, you know, within that game uh, to, to get our offense in gear. And, you know, in the second half, uh, as many guys that were making big plays one after another, you know, uh, it felt like a breakthrough. Uh, and, it, and it looked like a lot of what I saw uh, through a lot of the season with, uh, with the spurts we were able to go on. and. Um, and the shot making that was happening. But it all started with, with us getting confidence uh, from our defense and, and stopping uh, Colorado. When you, when, you, when you made that flurry of threes, was that just a matter of just being due for that to happen? Or do you, was there anything that generated that, do you think? There, these players are too good for us to not be able to do that. You don't do it for two months and then, and then it just goes away and you never see it again. So. You know, will, will they have those type of runs where everyone's making them one on top of the other in the second half? You, you hope, uh, you know, that that happens on a regular basis. But uh, it, it, it sure felt good for me to, uh, to see numerous guys, uh, you know, make big shots throughout that half. A little, a little sloppy at times in the first half, second half, no turnovers. So that's something you talked about at halftime. Yeah, I just think we got out of um, we're trying to do some things that we shouldn't have done. Some uh, a little bit of you know trying passes that weren't necessary. We just talked about trying to keep it simple out there and uh, and and not try and you know make a hero play on offense. What do you think key the defensive effort? I mean, did you guys stress that yesterday? Or? Well, I mean we. You know, our offense hasn't been as strong as it's been, you know, prior in, in league play. So, you know, we got to try and find ways to ignite our offense and, and get stops. And the one way that we could use our speed and our ability to get the ball off the floor quickly is if we get rebounds or to create turnovers. And that's going to be a way for us to uh, increase our advantage and not make it strictly a, 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 a possession by possession game in the half court. Um, so if we're able to do that on defense, then it's going to translate to us playing the, the style and the pace that we want to play. Coach, what did you say to your team at halftime that might have sparked the, the second half they had? I just felt like we were we were defending. We were, uh, you know, we created a bunch of turnovers. Uh, we had great energy on defense. We, uh, you know, we were 0 for 10 from three at halftime. We had some, some really, you know, good open looks too. Uh, just wanted everyone to stay calm and 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 stay with what we're doing and and focus on you know defense the first four minutes again and not have any breakdowns. Um, you know this morning we we didn't we didn't even show an edit of, of Colorado this morning. We we watched from when it was 52-44 at Colorado to to the end of uh, regulation just to see how we put ourselves in that situation and uh, you know so just seeing the mistakes, especially on defense, and, and making sure that we don't uh, uh, repeat that today. Would, would you say that they were playing with a chip on their shoulder just because of last time? You know, I just think that the way we lost on, uh, you know, on Thursday, and, you know, we were one shot away from, uh, you know, from this being, you know, uh, 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 two wins in a row. And it, it, it takes something away from you. And I think that maybe from a confidence standpoint on offense that that, that might have carried over uh, a little bit in the first half. But, you know, it was, uh, I think the guys maybe just had enough. I mean, you could ask them, but I mean, they're too talented and they've done too much this year and made too many, so many big plays that, you know, they were due to like all do it together, which uh, they did in that second half. Shannon's had a few really big second halves after some quiet first half performances in recent weeks. What do you think, what do you make of that? Just yeah, I mean it's it's a forty minute game. I, I uh, you know I, I think he he missed a couple early and and just a little bit out of sync with, with uh, you know some of his drives into the paint. But you know he uh, you know he circled the wagons and figured things out. You know in, in that second half. Is there something about just his will to kind of push you guys through that's been a big key in second halves? 
I mean, it's it's really uh, you know, again. I, I think he's a big part of it. You know, when when he's uh, hitting those those momentum shots, it, it really you know it, it ignites you know what we're doing. As as Trey's shots, Trey hit some big ones uh, as well, and uh, you know even Vitaly, Vitaly got one for us to get things going. So it was uh, <clears throat> you know it's a team game, but it was mainly our defense. I, I would love to start singling out. You know, individual players for their performances, and they deserve it. They, you know, Trey, Shannon, these guys play great. But it was more of a collective mindset of, of defending that uh, that put us in a great position tonight. You guys are at the midpoint of the conference season now, and I know it didn't go your way or go the way you wanted the whole the whole time. But how would you assess just the first half of the conference season? Yeah, I mean, we <clears throat> you feel like you, you you could be you know your record could be a little different if a few different things happen that that don't happen. Uh, and again, I uh, you, you just feel good that you know you have a majority of, of the games left at home, um, and, uh, and and we gotta we have to play better in, in the last nine. You know we have to uh, you know our record uh, you know can't be what it's been through the first nine, and you know, I have a feeling that you know we could use the momentum that we that we got here in the second half and and, and bring that into the second half of uh, Pac-12 play. And once again, the crowd turned out and really seemed to. Get behind the team, and uh, it seems that the guys fed off that. Of course, I mean it, it's been outstanding, and it's been consistent, and uh, it was uh, very impactful tonight. Uh, second half when we got rolling, and you know we were hitting our shots and and uh, and stopping them, and you know it seems like it just got louder and louder. So it was a great atmosphere to be a part of. How good was it to see up what you'd seen early in the season kind of manifest itself? That was the best thing for me because I, I again, I, I loved that my players and the guys competed the way they did in the first half, especially on defense. Um, but our offense just didn't look really anything like what we have been through majority of the season. So to see it come alive like that and and it spread through multiple guys, uh, you know, it was uh, it was fun. It was it reminded me a lot of who we've been most of the year. When you guys struggled early in conference play, were you maybe more puzzled trying to look for answers, or did you have that confidence knowing that something like this would eventually show up? Like well, this is this is a good league. It's it's an underrated league. Okay, I mean, I I, I don't care what you know the everyone thinks from all over the country about the Pac-12 not being a, a solid league. Like, you know, Utah is a, is a legit team. You know, Utah. I mean, I I think they lost by one at Arizona today and. Uh, you know, so that's that was our opponent the other night, and uh, they're well coached. These teams have had good game plans uh, against us. Um, there are good coaches in this league. Uh, Colorado, no different. Teams have tried to throw the ball inside and pound us inside. Teams have tried to crash the offensive board. Teams have tried to make it a possession game, go deep in the shot clock, try and uh, crash the, the offensive glass and shorten the game. We've had to face numerous styles and I think that we've discovered some patience to play through these games because uh, you know these coaches are good these teams are good you know they get their teams ready to play us and and uh, and we have to be prepared to play a close game you know we're not just not gonna you know roll into town somewhere or come in here and just blow people out you know we have to be prepared you know to to play the game on whatever terms are handed to us. And I think that we're showing more patience and more grit to play in these games, in these tight games, no matter what the circumstances are.